According to members of the TCI Kidney Foundation, rumors of the disbandment of the organization are false. As of Monday, May 11th, new directors and a new president and vice president have been chosen for the organization. The new members are as follows. President Claude Swan, Vice President Winston McLallan, Secretary Racine Bovell, Assistant Secretary Carl Gardner, Treasurer Daron Hilaire, Assistant Treasurer Racine Bovell, Public Relations Officer Chris Hall, Director Grosvenor Hamilton, Director Dr. Hugh Malcolm. However, it seems before the foundation can move forward, there are some issues from the past that must be sorted out. There is a divide in the membership of the organization with confusion and tension about the resignation of certain previous Kidney Foundation board members. The frustration appears all over and brings into question how funding given to the organization was being spent. News 4 sat with Winston McLaughlin to get insight into the situation. It happened um, after the, 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 the other members of the Kidney Foundation was asking the former president, Ms. Trish Silva, that um, they want to see the books, right? And they wanted the books to be audited. Um, it looked like she had a problem doing that. And um, she, like I say, she stepped down and bring, brought Richard Padgett along. And um, when he first knew himself to us, he said that um, Price Waterhouse Coopers, the ordering company, have um, the books to be audited. And um, that was not the case because up to now, the book still hasn't been ordered. According to Malcolm, the confusion over the financial spending of the organization came about with a kidney patient who was not granted $500 to go abroad for treatment. Grosvenor Hamilton, newly voted as one of the foundation's directors, spoke about the matter. Well, actually, it started out from, you know, one patient. It's, it's a patient, you know, beforehand we had to go abroad a lot, you know, for treatment and stuff every three months because no specialist is on the island. And it started off with one patient which, you know, just asked for, I, I call it a sleazy $500 to help with hotels and stuff like that. And actually, Trish Selva said at that time that the Kidney Foundation funds is not for that. Now, that's where it started out from. So, we began to ask the question, what it's for, you know? So, everybody stopped going to kidney foundation meetings and stuff like that because they say if the kidney foundation funds is not for the kidney patients who is it for the issue caused a major dispute between members last year the then president selva resigned following the allegations of mismanagement of the funds while being interviewed she last passed on the position to another member which in a later meeting using the constitution of the TCI Kidney Foundation was found to be an illegal move. She however had appointed Richard Padgett the new president. Richard Padgett was never um, the president of the Kidney Foundation. Um, he was handpicked by Trish Selwa who, who had stepped down on television unbeknown to us without any, any, any formal meeting and she actually handpicked him. So. When he came in as the president um, and told us that he's now the president, we asked him, you know, what, what, what's going on? Um, how come he become the president without anybody electing him to be the president? So we just wrote him to st stop stop doing anything um, to watch the Kidney Foundation as uh, like 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 signing documents because he's not the president. News 4 contacted Trish Selver, who did not wish to appear on camera, but did give comment about several of the above-mentioned issues. Regarding her resignation and her appointment of Richard Padgett as the new president, she stated, I've been trying to resign from the foundation for a couple of years now, but really felt I had a responsibility to find the right person to take over the job. It had to be someone with a bit of passion for it, someone who knows about kidney disease either through personal experience or from dealing with a family member. I felt it was time to hand over the reins to someone who could take the foundation to a new level. Now that patients had treatment on two islands, we were hoping to concentrate on education and awareness and perhaps form a transplant committee. We were approached by Richard Paget, who wanted to see how he could help us. He is a kidney transplant patient himself and has been chairman of a local foundation in the UK. So with his experience, he seemed heaven sent and perfect for the job. He accepted the role, but unfortunately was not accepted by some of the patients and eventually felt the need to resign also. As for the issue of the accounts and bookkeeping, Selver stated that proper auditing was difficult, but states that she was never intentionally hiding the books from members of the Kidney Foundation, she told News 4. 
I will admit that over the years, books were not kept in any proper order due to the fact that we always had difficulty with treasurers. We've been through about four. I was busy enough as president working to open a dialysis unit, so trusted people who were put in those positions to do what they had volunteered to do. My only regret is that I did not use foundation funds to have the books done annually, but I put patient care expenditure ahead of things like that. Having said that, there were not many transactions. We are still on the second checkbook after seven years of operation. The main larger donations went directly to Rental Dynamics for the equipment to outfit the unit. A group of very dedicated people took what I had, bake statements, checkbooks, deposit books, and receipts, and put together a very comprehensive and detailed set of QuickBooks accounts which were delivered to the new board. The accounts cannot be audited due to the passage of time. They were, however, checked and signed off by PricewaterhouseCooper. The new board now has bank statements, accounts, receipts, and a CD with accounting software to continue where the old committee left off. On the issue of the $500 not granted to a kidney patient, she denies that she was ever approached by such a patient and states that the Kidney Foundation has always been as supportive as possible with its funding to its patients working along with the TCI Medical Department. In regards to the new group of members, she stated that, at the end of the day, everybody decided that Mr. McLaughlin and a couple of his supporters see the foundation going in a different direction, so we all agreed to resign and hand over to them. I understand they have now formed a new board and I wish them well in their endeavors. Despite the friction between new and previous members, there seems to be one thing agreed upon, that the Kidney Foundation is not being disbanded and they are looking to be a mediator between the Cheshire Hall Medical Center and the kidney patients in the TCI. Trish Silver and Richard Padgett and Richard Ling, they still have to have, have, have the, um, they still do the signing. So we, um, they, they didn't transfer that over yet. So now we put all our members in place. So now um, we hope that they will trans give us the transfer as quick as possible.